Hey guys, this is Scotty Boy, and today I'll be giving you a uh, render settings for HD videos in Sony Vegas 10. All right, so the first thing you'll have to do, um, you might want to watch this on full screen, by the way, because I, I don't know zoom. Uh, first thing you have to do is go to New, and then just go to whatever template. Um, the width will have to be 1,280, height 720, uh, field order none, um, pixel. Uh, aspect ratio uh, 1 square output rotation 0 frame rate is pretty much 60 but that's the same thing so double NTSC that uh, off I'm assuming 8-bit uh, for the pixel format the full resolution render quality obviously best so then you get the best uh, motion blur type is Gaussian I think that's how you say it yeah it's Gaussian um, and the uh, deinterlace method, none. Uh, leave this unticked. So just untick it if it's already there. The pre-render folder, you may as well just make your um, desktop, so it's the best and easiest thing to do. Um, then click start all projects with this. Now go up to audio. Um, master bus mode. Ma <laughs> master bus mode. What the hell? Uh, stereo. Uh, number of stereo buses zero. Sample rate is uh, 44,100. Bit depth is 16, I'm pretty sure. Just let me check my render notes. Um, I think it might be. Yep, it is. All right, so, yep, best. And then, obviously, just use the desktop again. Then start all projects with this setting. Tick that, go OK. Now you got to get your clip. So let's go to um, my home page. Let's go up here. Let's drag this into Sony Vegas. Put that there. All right. So now you're going to want to um, press the right, uh, the right thing, and go properties. All right. Now you're going to go disable resample and all the rest. Just leave it. And all right. All right. So now you want to. You see this black line around there? You probably don't want that, so you click on the crop tool. Then you make it slightly bigger. Wait, slightly smaller, and then it goes bigger for some reason. And then it's gone, alright? Now you just click X. Alright. Now, you want to go to video uh, effects. Then you want to go to color correction. So the first one, make sure it's the first one, not the second one. Make sure it's first. Just drag on any doesn't matter you will come up with this and then you want to go saturation as 1.1 wait 1 6 4 all right and then gain you want to go as the same as saturation so 1.164 and offset you want to go minus wait a sec minus 18.6 and the gamma you just keep as that all right then just close it all right so see how this box is slightly clearer i mean slightly lighter it's um it's the what it looked like before so you, as you can see it's slightly darker in this area all right next is color curves so click on color curves just drag anyone in doesn't really matter okay so see how it has this the top bit up here is how light it is and the darker it is so watch this bit as I move these around and you'll see it slightly go see darker black yeah so you want to go kind of like that and then move these kind of out a bit so kind of makes it a little lighter and then make this a little darker so it's kind of like that all right so see how this bit is a lot lighter that's what it looked like before you did all this all right that's not meant to look like that but it, you, you can change it because this is um obviously stadium so it's, it's a light map like a bright map if you do Hanoi or something you would want to change these to more like this so it's like lighter and move this over there so it's lighter and um, yeah so I'll show you this clip at the end when it's all rendered and stuff so now you just close that uh, the next thing is saturation something just wait a tick and then you go this one so it's saturation adjust you just go drag one in so just let's drag that one in all right okay so the first one is zero zero point 
one four four zero, and the center is one point one two three four four zeros, and the spread is the same as that one point one one one, or you could just drag it up to the, the um just drag it up there. But yeah, um the low is zero point two six six zero. And the high is zero point one five two zero. All right, now you just click on that so it activates, and then click X. So to see how it's a lot darker now. Now the next thing you will just have to do is the last effect, which is sharpen, and then all you have to do is reset to none, so it makes whoop, uh, yep, it makes all the writing a lot clearer. All right, so that's all the video graphics you'll have to do. Uh, so see how it's real dark and stuff, you can make it real light and whatever you want. Alright, so now you want to go to render. So you go render, render as. Alright, so just make the the video, I don't know. Let's make it ha 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 test. Alright, dot. Alright, now go custom. Alright, so what you want to do now is field order. Uh, just wait. Uh, where am I? Alright, I'm here. Oh, let's just cancel this for a sec. Um, you, what you want to do is this one. So, it's main concept AVC forward slash double AC MP4. It's the best render setting. And then you want to go uh, custom. And then just pick any template. I'll just go with, I don't know, default, I guess. <clears throat> then you want to go include video, which is already ticked then you would like to go actually make a template ma name so I'll make it duo intensity and then save it so then rendering will be a lot easier next time and then you would want to go custom frame rate as yep that so width uh, 1280 and height 720 uh, untick that if it's already ticked um, profile main and that one's all right um, field order none yep that's fine 1000 for pixel aspect ratio number of reference frames is two untick use default uh, d blocker filter and yep and then make this one 14 million all right so that might change if you're not using a whole bog but um yeah I I'm just doing this for the whole bog HDPVR. Alright, so now we're moving on to audio. Alright, so that is the setting. So, sample rate 44,100. Bit rate is 128,000. <laughs> Alright, now you want to go to project. Let's go this one to best. And the this this one is the 3D mode. Just leave it because you don't want it 3D because you know YouTube's not 3D yet. Alright, so then you'll just go um, save. And then it'll come up with ren like it's rendering. So you can see it render as it goes over here. And my computer's real gay, so it's going to take a while. And this is the time, so the approximate time that it will take. And yes, that's all you need to know to render is my settings. This is Scotty Boy from Duo Intensity, and I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you later. Kill confirmed. Enemy spotted. Kill confirmed. Five lane standing by. Kill confirmed.